Hello everyone. Today we are going to design a rectangular footing. Let us read the question and write the given data. Design a reinforced concrete footing for a rectangular column of section 300 mm by 500 mm. The size of the column is given as 300 mm by 500 mm. Supporting an axial factored load of 1500 kN. The factored load PU is given as 1500 kN. The safe bearing capacity of soil at the site is 195 kN per meter square. QS is given as 195 kN per meter square. Adopt M20 grade concrete and FE 415 high yield strength deformed bars FCK is 20 and FOE is 415 the first step in the design is to find the size of the footing the factored load PU is given as 1500 we can assume the self weight of the footing as 10% of the total load in this way, we will get the self weight of the footing as 150 kN. To find the total factored load, we have to add both of these. When we add, we will get this. The safe bearing capacity is given in the question, but we need the factored safe bearing capacity. So, we have to multiply 185 with 1.5. In this way, we will get 277.5. We have found WU and QU. Now we are going to find the footing area. The formula is WU upon QU. We will get 5.94. We can round that into 6. Let us consider a rectangular footing with a rectangular column. The long side of the footing will be proportional to the long side of the column. And the short side of the footing will be proportional to the short side of the column. This proportion will be same. Let us keep that as x. So we can say that the proportion of the two sides of the footing is made similar as the column dimensions. We know the dimensions of the column. The short side is 0.3 meter and the long side is 0.5 meter. We know that the proportion of both of the sides will be same. 0.3x into 0.5x we will get the footing area which is 6. For x we will get 6.32. 0.3 into 6.32 we will get the short side of the footing which is 1.89 meter 0.5 into 6.32 we will get long side of the footing which is 3.16 meter let us round this as 2 and let us round this as 3 so we are providing rectangular footing of size 2 meter by 3 meter now let us find the factored soil pressure the formula is PU upon footing area. PU is the factored column load. Footing area we know 2 into 3. For QU we will get 250. This is less than the factored bearing capacity of the soil. So the footing area is adequate. Now we are going to find the factored bending moments. We need to find the cantilever projection from the short side face of the column 3 minus 0 0.5 we will get this distance but we need to only the left side or right side distance so we have to divide this by 2 in this way we will get this projection as 1.25 meter now let us find the cantilever projection from the long side face of the column we know this side 0.3 and this side 2. 2 minus 0.3 we will get this length. 
but we need only one side so we have to divide this by 2 in this way we will get this projection a 0.85 meter now using this formula we can find the BM at the short side face of the column we will get 195 kilonewton meter per unit breadth using this formula we can find the BM at the long side face of the column we will get 90 kilonewton meter per unit breadth now let us find the depth of the footing using this formula we can find the effective depth let us see how to derive this formula we need to use IS 456 code book page 70 and page 96 from page 96 we will get this formula our FY is 415 for 415 XU max upon D is 0.48 we can apply that and finally we can derive this formula we have found two movements 195 and 96 but 195 is maximum we have to apply the maximum movement we have to convert 195 kilo newton meter into newton millimeter for that we have to multiply 195 with 10 power 6 breadth is 1000 fck is 20 for d we will get 266 millimeter this is very small value the section may fail so to have the strong section we have to provide a bigger value let us keep d as 550 millimeter and the overall depth d as 600 millimeter now we are going to find the reinforcement in footing first let us take the longer direction using this code book we can copy this formula in the longer direction this is the movement fy and fck we know let us apply both of them b is 1000 and d is 550 after simplifying we will get this equation using a calculator we can solve this equation for AST we will get 1021 also we have to check for minimum AST that is 0.12% of BD we will get 720 our AST is greater than minimum AST so we can proceed with this AST let us provide 16 millimeter diameter bars using this formula we can find the number of bars per meter length we will get to 5.07 let us say 6 spacing per meter length will be 1000 upon 6 so that it will be 166.67 let us round this as 160 so in the longer direction let us provide 16 millimeter diameter bars at the spacing of 160 millimeter now we can find the area per meter this is the area of the bar then 1000 upon the spacing in this way for AST we will get 1257 millimeter square now we are going to assign the reinforcement in the shorter direction before that we need to know something let us take this code book page number 73 in two way reinforced rectangular footing the reinforcement in the long direction shall be distributed uniformly across the full width of the footing this is what we done previously for reinforcement in the short direction a central band equal to the width of the footing shall be marked along the length of the footing this is the central band this should be equal to the width of the footing which is 2 meter now we can find the length of the edge bands we know that it is totally 3 meter so 3 minus 2 upon 2 so it will be 1 by 2 which is 0 0.5 meter for the central band we need to use this formula we can see that a little later 
using this formula we will get this equation using a calculator we can solve this equation for AST we will get 461 AST minimum per meter length is 720 our value is less than that in this case we have to keep AST as 720 millimeter square this is the area per meter length the total length is 3 so 720 into 3 we will get 2160 now let us take this formula beta is the ratio of the long side to the short side of the footing we know that the long side is 3 meter and the short side is 2 meter 3 upon 2 we will get 1.5 when we apply this we will get 1728 millimeter square let us provide 12 millimeter diameter bars then we can find the number of bars as 15.28 we can round that to 216 spacing will be 2000 upon 16 so it will be 125 millimeter therefore in the shorter direction we are providing 12 millimeter diameter bars at the spacing of 125 millimeter now let us take the edge bands we need to find the area that will be the total area minus the area for the central band we will get 432 millimeter square let us provide 12 millimeter diameter bars for the number of bars we will get 3.81 we can round that to 4 the spacing will be 250 millimeter so in the edge bands we are providing 12 millimeter diameter bars at the spacing of 250 millimeter now let us check for shear stress first let us check for one way shear the critical section for one way shear is located at a distance of d from the face of the column so it is the critical section it is at a distance of d from the face of the column we need to find this distance let us consider only the left half of the footing this distance is b by 2 b is 3 and this distance is d by 2 and this distance is d so from b by 2 we need to subtract d by 2 and d d is the long side of the column which is 0.5 meter d is the effective depth 550 millimeter we have to convert that into meter we are keeping all of the values in meter because the unit of q u is a kilo newton per meter square the formula for the shear force is q u into area q u we know 250 for unit meter length we need to find the area of this so 1 meter into this distance which we have got just before here we will get 175 kilo newton we know that kilo is 10 power 3 then we can find the shear stress using this formula let us find 100 ast upon bd we know ast for the longer side we will get 0.228 now let us take this code book page number 73 our fck is 20 we need to find tau c for 0.228 but it is not there only we have the values for 0.15 and for 0.25 let us note both of them then using interpolation we can find tau c which is 0.34 tau v we have already got 0.32 then in the code book let us take page number 72 we have to find tau c k for k here we have the values our overall depth is 600 millimeter for the overall depth 300 or more k is 1 so 1 into 0.34 we will still get 0 0.34 0.34 is less than 0 0.32 hence the section is safe 
Now let us check for two-way shear. Critical section for two-way shear is located at a distance of 0.5d from the face of the column. In this code book, in the page number 57, we can see that in this way, we have to arrange in our footing. You can see that at a distance of 0.5d, that is 0 0.5 into 550, from the face of the column, we have to make this. So this is 275, this is 275, this is 275, and this is 275. Let us find this distance 500 plus 275 plus 275. We will get 1050. Similarly, to find this distance, we need to add 300 with 275 and 275. In this way, we will get 850. We need to find the shaded area that will be 3 into 2 minus 1.05 into 0 0.85. Now let us find VU using this formula. For VU, we will get this. Let us take the code book, page number 57. The nominal shear stress shall be taken as V upon V naught D where V is the shear force and P0 is the periphery of the critical section. Let us find the periphery of the critical section. This is the periphery. We need to add all of the distances. 1050 plus 1050 plus 850 plus 850. We will get 3800 millimeter. For tau V, we will get 0.61. Let us take this code book, page number 58 and then 59. When shear reinforcement is not provided, the calculated shear stress at the critical section shall not exceed Ks tau c. Ks is 0 0.5 plus beta c. It should not be greater than 1. Beta c is the ratio of the short side to the long side of the column. The short side of the column is 0 0.3 and the long side of the column is 0 0.5. This is beta c. For Ks, we will get 1.1, but it should not be greater than 1. In this way, we have to keep Ks as 1. Tau c is 0 0.25 root of Fck. Our Fck is 20. In this way, for tau c, we will get 1.11. We know that Ks is 1. So, tau c into ks, we will still get 1.11. Now, tau c ks is greater than tau v. So, the section is safe against two-way shear. Here, you can see the reinforcement details of the footing. These are the two edge bands and this is the central band. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.